So I want you to see these pictures of before and after. The, bef the before pictures are from when I had my ER visit where I had a really bad inflammation um, flare up with really, I think it wasn't just my eczema. I think it was also a allergic reaction to the body wash um, and the hand soaps that I have been using. And um, you'll see that my neck is softer. It is flat. It's not inflamed. It's not dry and scaly. Um, also e there's still a few scars and a few, um, markings from when I was at the ER about three weeks ago. Um, but the picture that I took for my neck was about two and a half weeks ago. Um, and it was still very, uh, inflamed, dry, um, discolored, and it's starting to even out with not using, um, those products I was, um, cut getting from the store and actually making my own homemade body wash. And also my hand is way flatter. Um, I don't know if it's gonna show here, but it's um, flatter, it's softer. The darkness around the affected area has gone away. Um, there's not like deep ridges and not any red or inflammation on my hands compared to the before picture. Basically, I've been using different oils a castor oil that has 100% olive oil, no coconut oil, no soy in it because of the things I'm allergic to. And I have been seeing great results for my eczema as well as for my sensitive skin because I was also having allergic reactions to a lot of the body washes and soaps that I was using that had all these different chemical uh, names in them. So I created um, a body wash and a hand soap, but I used two different oil bases. I don't want to get too in detail with that because I'll let y'all know that in the future. If you want to know, please like, comment on my videos on YouTube and let me know if you want to know the recipe for these hand, this body wash and this hand soap.